you have a 4,000 microfarad capacitor charged to 8 millivolts or some combination of them, and that's a lot of energy. Uh, are you able to express that amount of energy in equivalent pounds of TNT? Or <laughs> some other energy? That, if you were to publish an article about this apparatus in the paper, what energy quanta could you use to express the stored energy for the average person who wants to Okay, well, um, the capacitor ring stores about 20 kilojoules of energy, of energy. Um, I believe that can be, um, I believe each capacitor has about a handgun firing in it, so 20 simultaneous shots from a 9 millimeter. <laughs> <laughs> Second question is um, the, uh, the pneumatic pre injection. Interesting idea. How do you synchronize? Hypothetically, or will you? I think maybe I missed it in the talk. You've got this pneumatically driven projectile, and you've got to turn on the current and the rails just at the right time. How do you synchronize them? Well, you don't really need to, uh, since since the projectile is conducting and it completes the circuit, which allows the current to flow through it. Mm -hmm. So the rails are already armed. Um, once you turn that on. So the rails are on all the time. Once the thing is armed, it just waits for the projectile. Yeah, after you the projectile charge it, automatically then you flip the arming switch, they're energized, the projectile. And last question, according to your calculations and projections, after the projectile leaves the system and open circuits the current path, do you have any idea how much energy will be left in the capacitors based on the trends of time through the rails? and the waveform you predict for the discharge. you have any idea how much of the energy you're actually going to put into the projectile versus how much will be left in the system? So, okay, um, the, uh, the, the, um, that's a very good question. Um, because these, um, the type of capacitors that these are, aluminum electrolytic, they, there are better capacitors for this. Pulse capacitors specifically, um, but pulse capacitors are insanely expensive. Um, we would expect a much lower efficiency with these because the way we're the way we set it up with timing, the way we would time the, uh, um, the way we would time the uh, the circuit so that the um, the voltage does not actually reverse so the projectiles out of the accelerator before on the RLC curve before it hit the capacitor bank, voltage hits its first zero. We want it out by that time. So that means there's going to be definitely a significant amount of energy left over. We're not expecting extremely high efficiency, but with, um, with the type of capacitors that we have available, um, that's, that's, that's what we have to do. But uh, it's hard to tell exactly how much um, energy will be left. Uh, okay, thank you. So just to add on to that, it doesn't, I mean, as far as safety, uh, safety goes, it doesn't, uh, it's not so, so much of a concern of ours how much is left over because after every firing, the, the normally closed switch, I mean, it, 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 later on we can see that the switch is about this big. The, uh, it's meant to handle very high currents of very high voltage. I think you've got safety on your mind so much, you're assuming yeah. that's my, that's not my question. Okay. My question is you want as efficient a railgun as possible. You want to get as much energy in the right. projectile as possible. So you've got a discharge curve and you've got a time in between the electrodes. And, um, perhaps just a suggestion of something to look at as you fine tune the design. <laughs> how much of the design was your own and how much was taken from external sources? That's a good question. Um, so relevance have been researched a lot by obvious and by, by you know the universities, government, government, everything. Uh, we did we did quite a bit of research and pulled up a lot of a lot of uh, academic papers on relevant ways to improve relevance, different different designs, uh, different designs to combat uh, you know the, the, the rail repulsion. So uh, a lot of it is our own design, I'd say. It's hard. It's hard really to, to say what's our own design when you know there's there's only a certain number of ways to connect that to hook up a capacitor. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, but yeah, I'd say a good eighty-five to ninety percent of it is original design.
You have these uh, linear resistors across these capacitors in series. What, what would happen if one of the linear resistors was an open circuit, like it blew out or it uh, wasn't a good connection? Would that get all the voltage across a single capacitor? Would, how, how would you prevent that? Or do you check for some of this? Well, um, as, <laughs> I guess, uh, as, um, I mean, it's like with any component you uh, unless, uh, like there's no you know really strain being applied to it, so it's uh, it's hard to expect it to to for the resistor to just break. But um, they are I mean the idea the reason they're 10 megaohms is a very high resistance. They're meant to simulate an open circuit, but but very specifically um, in order so why to. Why do you need them? Because they make the charge equal. Right? right. So if if you think about your going across a bunch of capacitors in series. The voltage technically doesn't have to be the same across all of them in order for that lock be satisfied. So if you have a point, so if you had a set, if you have a set resistance across each one, then just like in any circuit where you pass voltage through a bunch of resistors in series, if all the resistors are of equal value, then the voltages, the voltage drop across each one would be exactly the same. And that's it's it's just a it's insurance. But every time resistors can be raised from this context. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was just this contact. It might not be making a connection. Right. Do you check for that? This hasn't been around long enough to check for that. Um, <laughs> um, but I you know it's this is this it's like a system like this, yes, we maintenance would be a big concern. Regular regular checks, regular maintenance. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh.